Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the February 2015 Grade 7A Contest Question 24, which also came up in the Grade 9, 10, and 11, 12 contests. So the question is, n is an integer with n being greater than or equal to 2. What is the value of the product? Hint. Apply the binomial formula a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared for each factor of the above product. This formula applies to whole numbers as well as rational numbers. So this hint was not shown in the grade 9, 10 or 11, 12 contests. Alright, let's get into it. So we want to use this hint. And in the hint we're given the binomial formula a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. So now let's look at the first factor of this product, and that is 1 minus 1 over 4. So we can't use a minus b times a plus b for this factor, but we can use a squared minus b squared, and we can use that because we know a or 1 is a square because it's 1 squared, and 1 over 4 is a square because it's 1 over 2 squared. So then we would have a minus b times a plus b, and a would be 1, b would be 1 over 2, so we have 1 minus 1 over 2 plus times 1 plus 1 over 2. Alright, and now we have 1 minus 1 over 9, and that would be 1 minus 1 over 3, because 3 is the square root of 9, and then times 1 plus 1 over 3. Okay, now to make it easier on ourselves, we will just do one more factorization of a denominator, den the denominator being a 1 greater. So we have 1 minus 1 over 4, and that is times 1 plus 1 over 4. Okay, and now what we have next is the 1 minus 1 over n squared. So that, that would be 1 minus 1 over n times 1 plus 1 over n. Okay. So now let's just simplify these factors. So we have 1 minus a half, which is a half. Then we have 1 plus a half, which is 3 halves. 1 minus a third is 2 thirds. And then we have times 1 plus 1 third is 4 thirds. And we have 1 minus 1 over 4 is 3 quarters. Then we have times 1 plus 1 over 4, which is 5 over 4. Then we have this. And we have the 1. We have now 1 is n over n, so the n stays a denominator. And then we have n minus 1. And that's over n, n times, we have n plus 1 over n. Alright, now let's see if we can cancel out any factors right away. So here we can see, oh, 3 over 2 times 2 over 3. So the denominators and the numerators cancel out. 
And here we can also see 4 over 3 times 3 over 4 also cancel out. Alright, so this here is the first factorization and this is the first factorization simplified. This is the second factorization and then this is that simplified and this is the third factorization that is this simplified okay so now there is a pattern okay so let's look up here now in the left factor of each factorization the numerator is always one less than the denominator we can also see this is true because 3 over 3 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3 and in the right factor of each factorization the numerator is always one greater than the denominator and we can see that because here that would be 4 over 3 okay so now let's look at the left factor of this factorization and the right factor of the previous factorization so since we know that the numerator in the left factor of this factorization the numerator is one less than the, than the denominator and the denominator in the previous factor, the, left, the right factor of the previous factorization, must also be one less than that denominator. We know that those two, the numerator in the left factor and the denominator in the previous right factor, they must be equal and therefore they will always cancel. And now we know that in the left factor of the factorization, we know that that denominator is one bigger, and we also know that in the, f the right factor of the previous factorization, the numerator is one bigger than the denominator. So therefore, that numerator and the denominator of the next factor, of the left factor of the next factorization, they must be equal to, so therefore, they would also cancel. And that just keeps on happening all the way so this also this term this term would get cancelled out this term would get cancelled out so then what we would be left with in the end all we would have is the first the first factor which is 1 over 2 and that is so because it has no left neighbor and also the very last factor which is n plus 1 over n because that has no right neighbor to cancel out with so therefore we are left with 1 over 2 times n plus 1 over n and there we have n plus 1 over 2n and if you looked at the options then you would see that that would be option D if you'd like to know more about this contest please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com